Hello everyone, welcome to Tarot Circle, Fan Reading for Ella. My name is Lorena Johnson and I'm going to be reading for you uh, for the month of February, okay? Under the zodiac sign of Taurus. Please, if you are under the zodiac sign of Taurus, don't leave. Let's see what is important to know for you for the month of February. This tarot card reading is for everyone under the zodiac sign of Taurus. Please allow me to see what is important to know for them for the month of February. I'm opening the receipt for Taurus. Okay, I will cut the deck now and I begin pulling your cards. Okay, make your arcanas. Okay. Let's see when it comes to love, what is important to know for Taurus. When it comes to love, what is important to know for Taurus? I'm going to receive. When it comes to love, for Taurus, cut the deck and let's see. Oh, wow. We have a lot of passion, okay? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So we have a lot of love and passion for someone. Okay, let's see. Taurus, what is important to know for Taurus for the month of February? I'm open to receive four Taurus. Okay, I will cut the deck and pull the card. Okay, so we have this card, okay? Okay, so this card, okay, immediately gives me the feeling of searching for something, uh, looking into on the outside, okay? Um, also, I do feel the many of you Taurus, okay, let me bring this closer, because to me this looks like a heart. It's like you are trying to be very careful, either with your feelings or your emotions, or with the heart and feelings of emotions that you have for another, okay? Now, I also see, feel, okay, when I see this, is this either you're trying to reach out to, to someone or you are trying to reach to something. This can be more in a plan or idea. But I just feel, I don't know, a tenderness of being careful with maybe your heart or someone's heart someone's heart this can indicate how you express feelings and emotions so now the first thing that i began seeing for you taurus is that you had been living a very karmatic situation in the past in the past months um, this can indicate either six months six months to 11 months for some of you okay this is either uh, things that you have been dealing with this is uh, creating okay a lot of uh, uh, feelings emotions but also someone has re-entered your life is this is either someone that you haven't seen for quite some time or this is indicating to me a person from a past life has re-entered your life in the past 11 months or so okay that person is in your life for most of you i feel that this person is in your life already you had already talked to this person you had already deal with this person but there is a lot of feelings and emotions because what i see from your past is yes i like that person i have feelings for that person I want to move things forward. I want to go ahead with this uh, feeling and emotion. That is in the morning or one day. And then the next day, it's like, no, I cannot be feeling this. Uh, this is not right. I need to rethink the situation. I need to not go into that, okay? It's a lot of ups and downs in your emotions. It's a lot of karmatic situations. It's difficulties. It's uh, highly possible arguments, misunderstandings fights uh, and this is if you are already married or with someone but and then you have this other person re-entering your life okay for some of you I do feel the distance 
uh, either this pe this person is at a distance or this person uh, lives, lives far away or there is a distance in between you and this person. Maybe this can also indicate that this person is um, different than you, okay? The, has different costumes, has different beliefs, different likes, and etc. things like that. But I do also feel that a, a step, taking a step, or bringing, closing the gap, okay, closing the gap is going to be necessary either on your part or to make this happen, okay, now, I also see in your past that you have to make choices, you have to make decisions, but for one reason or another, you have not made the choices, you, not, you have not made the decisions that you need to make, maybe also this is because you are very tired of a situation, feeling, um, energy less like okay I need to stop this or I need to not do anything for now because this is bringing you once and again arguments misunderstandings fights uh, feeling like everything is crumbling down okay it, it is clear to me the many Torahs are going to have to bring it all down so that you can rebuild okay rebuild again either a new relationship a new uh, start from zero in a job or occupation or an, an a plan idea or study okay this is um, you've also feeling like you don't have all your car your corners covered when we feel like we don't have all the corners covered it can be a lot of uh, uh, anxiety fear um, not knowing what to do okay so now I do see that you had already began working into something but this is indicating to me that you are feeling or will be feeling dissatisfied about the whatever it is bringing you okay now if you have already started something new okay a relationship a situation um, this can be a new job this can be a new business okay this is indicating to me that things are not going to work magically things are not going to work immediately for you this is indicating to me the number seven this is indicating uh, January February March April May June July August August is going to be an important month month for you maybe that is when you will begin seeing the results of the hard work and if you continue putting the time and dedication and those plans and ideas please don't um, start anything on false um, on false foundations okay don't start a new job if you are only thinking on the here and now okay I do feel that many of you might not be thinking things truth or clearly you like yes let's go do that I don't know how I'm going to pay for this, but when I get there, I, I will see how I pay for it, okay? Well, also this can indicate there may be people around you, this can be family members, friends, or people that you deal with on daily basis might be thinking that you are not thinking things clearly or that you are being selfish for one reason or another, okay? What is advice here? I will advise you, Taurus, to please be careful on how you begin things, your plans and ideas. Make sure that they are not only work for here and now, that they can work for the long run. Also, if you are beginning a new relationship or something like that, it is going to be important at times, okay? It is best, it is best and it's advisable to not try to please everybody else before you get to yourself sometimes it's okay to be selfish sometimes it's okay to think of what you want because if you always think of others and what they want and what they need i think that you can feel in the end empty and there can be sadness okay now you have a lot of love you have someone that is going to offer you a lot of love a lot of support and they will be willing to be there for you no matter what you will be going through a period of time of transformation okay this is something 
that it can mean, okay, if you were married, then you're not going to be married. If you were um, in a situation that you didn't see a way out, you will see a way out, okay? This is indicating to me something is happening in your life that is going to be important, something that can take you to the next level, okay? This can be in your job, career, or education. This is also indicating to me, okay, you need to make the changes necessary and begin doing what you had passion about now. There is no more waiting. There is no more contemplating. If you follow your passion, if you truly love someone and you go after that, then this is indicating to me once you go through the transformation to the period of time that can be stressful, it can be hard, it can be difficult, then once you get over it, okay, on the other side, it is going to work for you. Some of you are trying to deal with the two situations. Maybe this can indicate, okay, you have two different jobs and occupations, and you are going to be juggling both at the same time, okay? Either you can be already be doing something, and you're going to begin doing something new, aside it, okay, beside it. This can also indicate, okay, you have a partner, and you are dealing with someone else. This, to me, is you trying to keep the balance right here, okay? I don't see nothing wrong with that. But um, anytime, okay, when we try to juggle two different things, at times there can be confusion, at times there can be misunderstandings. So staying on the honest side and being clear about your situation is what is going to be important, okay? No matter what, the world keeps, keeps turning, okay? The wheel keeps moving. Nothing is gonna stop. If something is meant to happen, it is going to happen. There is a lot of feelings of a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of uh, wanting, okay, to be with someone. Um, the only thing that I feel with this is that it's going to be important, okay, for you guys to make sure that this is real love, okay, not just passion, not just something that it can jo that it could be okay or turn out to be something th that just for a for a moment okay or okay not just for a moment um short lived but I do feel okay that many of you Tauruses might be uh, having a experience okay of uh, of being with someone even though you might not physically be with that person. It's like uh, the dream or the passion of the feeling that can take you or teleport you into that people, person's dream or life. It, it is very strong, okay? Now, uh, for a period of time, I also see that you will be feeling stuck, okay? Nothing is happening, nothing is changing. Nothing moves forward, nothing moves backwards. There can be a period of time that you feel, okay, I'm stuck, okay? But be ready because whatever you are trying, okay, to move forward into the future, this is indicating to me a yes, okay? Anything that you begin now is going to take you at least three months to have a turnaround, okay? So if you are uh, beginning anything, new job, new career, love relationships, I will advise you to be patient and not be so hard on yourself because I do see also, okay, that if you apply for a job or, an, or um, a job, a new job, apply for a new position, apply for a new home because these are also, see, okay, the signing of papers, signing papers, um, I just taking a taking this problem or taking this idea to someone and they have to verify it, okay? Verify it or accept it or sign it so that it can be legal or so that it can be um, something that you can say, okay, finalize. For some of you, it can mean um, commitment, okay, or marriage. But I do not see the car supporting that on this reading, but I just feel it, okay? Now, also, Someone is going to offer you something, and I see you saying yes, okay? This is either a love offer. This is um, words of encouragement. This is this can also be um, a proposition, okay? A proposition. Okay, you know what? This is what I can do. 
this is what I have to offer. What do you think? Do you want to do this or not? Do you want to take it or not? I already see you taking it, okay? Taking the offer. And also, you have a very loving, loving and um, caring person around you, okay? So, very loving and caring person around you that is going to be there to support your ideas, your plans. It can be very romantic. It can be very loving and very caring, okay? But there is... Um, um, there can be a lot of uh, worry and preoccupation, but please, um, Taurus, keep in mind, in the month of February, you are going to be overthinking and over worrying about someone or about a situation. Please know that um, that is too much, okay, that you, are, that you are in reality overthinking and over worrying. And the best way to describe this is, okay, things are not as bad as you are thinking them or as you had imagined them. It's important to communicate and it's important to talk about the situation. So, Taurus, that is all I have for you for now. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.